this tutorial explains the jump stop. This little trick is riskier than it looks because landing in the shallows is more likely to result in injury. Look for waist deep water or preferably more when you're practicing. Before you begin, make sure your feet are loose in the straps as you want the board to come off easily. Ride at a low speed and steer the kite up slowly since you only want a small jump. You should already be edging upwind we do want the kite to cross 12 slightly, so wait until the kite reaches 12 before initiating the jump. At 12, pop as much as possible and pull in the bar. Remove your back hand to grab the board. Leave the front hand holding the bar completely straight to avoid steering. Grab the tail and kick off the board. Just as you land, steer the kite slowly forwards across 12. This extremely slow steering prevents the kite from front stalling in light wind. Let's review the kite control. Now let's recap and look at a jump stop riding to the right. Ride at a low speed, steer the kite up slowly, edge up wind. When the kite hits 12, pop hard and then pull in the bar. Keep the bar straight with the front hand, remove your back hand, grab the tail and kick off the board. As you land, steer forwards very slowly across 12. The pop is essential to the jump stop. A weaker pop means that you maintain crosswind speed after takeoff. If you hit the ground like this, it could lead to a broken ankle. On the other hand, if you use an exaggerated pop, you lose your crosswind speed and land very slowly. Thanks for watching and safe kiting to all of you.